Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. Well, we're finally going to do it. <laughs> I am going to show you my big diamond art club stash. Now, this video is not meant to brag. It's, you know, none of that. Please don't leave any nasty comments down below. Um, I have seen other stash videos where there was just some unkind things stated so please keep those to yourself I, I just want to share my collection so I of course have them organized you know me and uh, so I'm going to first start out with some holiday pictures uh, the only ones that I don't keep with the holidays um, are if they're for a specific artist um, so those I just keep with those artist uh, collections. So let's start with a couple of Halloween ones. So first up, we have Scaredy Cats. This is by Jeff, let's see, Haney. It is a square and it is a 71 by 56. And no, I am not taking each one out of the box. I'm just going to show you the picture and state what shape it is and the size and the artist. So, have that first. Now I'm going to be stacking them behind me, so I apologize if I hit the camera on top. <laughs> All right, then my other Halloween one is Pumpkin Patch Bunnies. This is by Abraham Hunter. It is a round and it is 71 by 51 centimeters. These are all going to be in centimeters, not inches. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? Okay, then on to some Christmas ones. Now this is um, one that it's the only one that I bought at Hobby Lobby. Is it Hobby Lobby or Michael's? Hobby Lobby. Um, they had a set of four Christmas ones out this past year. I only purchased this one. They didn't have all four at my Hobby Lobby. Um, I think they had three, but I just got this one. They were 50% off. This one is called Starry Night Santa, and it is by Donna Gelsinger. It is a 42 by 57 square kit. Okay, this one is uh, Snowflake Carolers. It is by Tim Bowers. It is a round diamond painting, 41 by 51. This one is another round diamond kit. It is Christmas Gnome Trio. It is by Lori Fernell. Um, it is around 76 by 56. Maybe I should zoom in just a little bit and you'll be able to see the picture a little bit better. Huh? Okay, this one is Christmas at Town Square. Now this is by Chuck Pinson and I don't buy too many of his. Um, his are generally landscapes and I'm not a big landscape person and they're also very detailed, very confetti heavy so they take quite a while to do. But I just thought this one was so pretty and I did just complete a different uh, Christmas diamond painting by Chuck Pinson, if you would have watched my last month's uh, completed coloring pages and diamond paintings, you'll have seen that Christmas deer uh, diamond painting that I finished. That was also by Ch Chuck Pinson. This is a round and it is 71 by 56. Then we have Gingerbread House. This is by Rosemary Berlin. It is a round and it is 76 by 56. This is a heavy one. <laughs> 
These next two are real big ones, but oh, they're so cute. This one is called Christmas Morning, and it is by the McNeil Studio. It is a square. It is 105 by 70, <laughs> but it's so adorable. I've seen this one and the next one done a couple times, and oh, they're so pretty. Again, I'm going to try not to hit the camera, especially with these big ones. This one is the other one that I fell in love with. It is called Festive Fireplace by Dominic Davison. It is a square 98 by 70. Another big one, but so cute. It's called Little Helpers. This is by Ann Stokes or Art ask agency it is another square one and it is 70 by 99 love my dragons you know or in anything fantasy all right now we're going to get into i have um some by uh sheena pike a few by like jasmine beckett griffith things like that so i have them grouped out into that next then i'm going to go into all my miscellaneous diamond paintings that really don't fit into a category then i will start my huge Hanolin collection and of course my randall spangler <laughs> collection because i have every single one of his <laughs> this one these next few are by sheena pike this one is called a curious girl cute this is around 56 by 71 this is also by sheena pike called spring little dragons it is a square it is a 56 by 71 her little dragons are just so cute Then we have Rainbow Little Dragons. This is a square 51 by 61. I'm going to be doing this one in March for an event. And lastly for Sheena Pike, another Little Dragons. This is a January Garnet. And I'm hoping she is going to be doing one for each month so this is the january's birthstone it is a round 71 by 56 so i suppose i can turn it sideways huh? they're so cute all right then let's go on to we do have a nikki burnett so I thought I would throw this one in here because these next ones are going to be people that we recognize as artists or illustrators in the coloring community. So I have Angelique, again, by Nikki Burnett. This is a round diamond painting, 56 by 71. Then here is a holiday one, but I do have a number now by Jasmine Beckett Griffith, so I am keeping these together. This one is Darling Dragonling 2. Again, Jasmine Beckett Griffith. It is a round 56 by 69. Here we have a Christmas one of hers, Faces of Fairy 132 by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. It is a round diamond painting, 51 by 51. Don't you love the big eyes on her? <laughs> All of Jasmine Beckett Griffiths are like that. Then we have Clockwork Dragon Lee. Dragon Lee, yeah, by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. This is another round and it is 51 by 69. It's a little bit of a bigger one. Last by Jasmine Beckett Griffith, and this is a big one. Uh, this is the Whispered Word Lenore. This is a square diamond painting and it is 70 by 87. So yeah, this one's a bigger one. I think this one would work good for Halloween. 
Um, so that's all I have in these categories. So I'm going to put these back and I'm going to get out the big stacks of the miscellaneous type of diamond painting. So I will be right back. All right, I am back. So on to the miscellaneous category. This is an itty bitty little baby one. <laughs> this one is called Rainbow Rose. This is a round and it is a 32 by 32. So if you're brand new to diamond painting, be aware that Diamond Art Club does have some really small ones. Um, this in inches is about 12 and a half by 12 and a half inches. So it isn't real big and it is a round, which to me is a good starter place for brand new diamond painters. Um, me personally, I just think the rounds are a little bit easier um, just to see if you are going to like diamond painting. Um, I, I would just kind of suggest that. So maybe start off with something small like this. But, and that's a very pretty one. All right, then a couple of other smaller ones before we started getting onto some bigger ones. This is Galaxy. This is by Erica the Goober. <laughs> Isn't that a funny name? This is a square, 42 by 53. This is one of my very first diamond painting uh, that I bought. Uh, it's called The Little Gift. It is a square diamond painting and it is 42 by 42. All right. Getting into the mid-sized ones. Now, Diamond Art Club does not do many partials. Uh, the vast majority of them, probably 98% of them, are all full uh, drill. This one and the next one, however, are partials. So every once in a while, they'll put a partial out. Uh, so this is a square. It is called Wizard Kitten, and it is by Marilyn Cazenave. I am going to butcher some of these names. I apologize. Um, and it is 56 by 56. So the background is already done for you. You just uh, diamond paint in here. And then this is the other partial. And it is Yorkie and Magic Books. And again, it is by Marilyn Cazenave. Uh, it is a square and again 56 by 56. So wouldn't those two be cute together? All right. Then we have Mer, yeah, Mer Malice in the Sea of Tea. It's by Simona Candini. If you are an Alice in Wonderland lover, Diamond Art Club has you covered. <laughs> they have a ton of Alice in Wonderland diamond paintings. This is a square and it is a 56 by 74. This is Alice in Wonderland in the Pansy Garden again by Simona Cardini. It is a round 56 by 71. We have Infinite Wisdom. This is by Whitney Page. It is a square and it is a 66 by 51. We have the Dragon Lantern. This is a square and it is by Heather R. Pitchman. It is 56 by 84. We have Close Encounters. This is by Scott Howden. It is a round and it is 56 by 69. This one I was going to unkit and show on my channel because I just thought it was so pretty and I may do that yet. Um, by the way, if there are any of these that you would like to see me unbox and show you everything in it, as well as, you know, the drills and the ABs and all of that, let me know down in the comments below and I'll be happy to do that for you. 
This one is called The Lover's Tree. It is a square. This is by Ravine Filan. Oh, I'm sure I butchered that. Or Raven. Raven Filan. Felon? No, I don't know. <laughs> 51 by 71. But isn't that neat where the trees go? I just, I love that one. <laughs> Another Alice in Wonderland. I'll have to put all the Alice's together. This is uh, JoJo's art. It is a round and it is 52 by 59. I've seen this one done too and it's really cute. This one is called Storytime. This is by Amy Brown. Can pronounce that name. It is a round and it is 56 by 71. Love my dragons. <laughs> we have Plan of Salvation and I'm not sure if it goes. I'm not sure. Um, it is by JoJo's Art. You'll hear me say that quite a bit. JoJo's Art has quite a few diamond paintings with Diamond Art Club. This is a square and it is 74 by 52. So it is definitely sideways. So it must go this way, right? I think. <laughs> then we have Midnight. This is by Deborah Malcolm, and you may recognize that name too. Um, it is a square. It is 84 by 51. Another Alice in Wonderland. This one is called Into the Wonderland. I've seen this one done a number of times, and I just love it. It is a square, and it is a 51 by 71. Kind of on the dark side of Alice. Now we're to the big ones. Got this one not too long ago. Uh, this one is called The Dragon's Door. And again, it's by that Raven Filan. I don't know. <laughs> it is a square. It's a big one. 70 by 99. I just love how the dragon sticks out from the door. It looks so pretty. And we have Descendants of the Volcano. This is by Sarah Richter. Sarah Richter is another artist who has a lot of diamond uh, paintings with Diamond Art Club. Just seen this one done by somebody on Facebook, and it's gorgeous. This is a square, and it is a 70 by 88. Sacred Web. You know me and my patterns. I just thought this was so pretty. This is by Briz, Briz Bazaar. It is a square. And it is a big one, 70 by 89. This one I fell in love with. It is Cat and Fairy, another one by Sarah Richter. Isn't that pretty? It is a square and it is a 70 by 88. Another dragon. <laughs> this is Violet by Sarah Richter. It is a square and it is another 70 by 88. A purple dragon. Of course I had to have her. <laughs> Last in this category is Ariel Angel. And this is another one by Sarah Richter can start to see her style. <laughs> this is a square and another 70 by 88. All right, I am going to put all of these back and we are going to start with the Anna Lynn collection. I'll be right back. All right. 
First up in the Hannah Lynn category is Dahlia. Dahlia is a square and she is 59 by 42. So these are, I got like four or so coming up now that are a little bit on the smaller side. Won't take too long to do. Then we have Willow and she is a square. She is 42 by 59. As you can see, Hannah Lynn is uh, or has a lot of diamond paintings. I don't have all of hers, uh, but I have quite a few. <laughs> this one is Mona. Mona is a round diamond kit, and she is 61 by 41. Those butterfly wings. She's so cute. Then we have, you know me, my kitties, two fluffy kitties. Oh my gosh, I have this in the wrong category. This is a Jasmine Beckett Griffith. <laughs> it is a round and a 43 by 56. I have to put this on the side, reorganize. <laughs> Oops. Okay, some that are a little bit bigger. We have Sasha and Jet. Isn't he cute? This is a round 55 by 74. Then we have Good Witch. I almost did this one for the Halloween diamond painting event, but I didn't. This is a square 56 by 79. At least I won't have to worry about butchering names anymore. <laughs> this one is Alia, although sometimes for the title I, I may. Uh, this is another square and she is 56 by 76. We have Christie's Kitty. This is a round and she is 51 by 71. So this is a great one for Halloween. We have Tagalongs. Look at the little penguins, they're so cute. This is a round 71 by 51. Here is April Fairy. She is a round and she is 47 by 66. Look at these pretty butterflies. Here is Moon Glow. She is round 47 by 66. She's this pretty fairy with these wings. This one. Ladybug Love. This is a round and it is 71 by 51. It's not adorable. <laughs> this one too. I thought it was so cute. This would be so cute for a, a new mommy. This one is called Mother Earth. It is a round and it is 56 by 76. I just thought that was adorable. We have Celia. Celia is a square and is 71 by 51. So you'll see it's kind of a mixture of portrait and landscape diamond paintings. And kind of a mix of square and round. I don't have mine sorted by squares or round. I just wanted to keep them sorted by um, artist. So 
this is Faye. Faye is round and she is a 56 by 76. Then we have Poinsettia Pixie. So this would be cute for Christmas. This is a round 51 by 71. We have Ice Princess. This is a round and she is 55 by 69. So you can see, you can imagine all the white we're going to have in there. <laughs> Finally, in this size, we have Nutcracker. So another great Christmas one. This is a square 51 by 71. Okay, I'm going to pause just one moment. Okay, I'm not going to show all the ones that I've already done, but I thought I would show you this one because I've just started it. This is a big one. It is called Off to the Ball. So we have like a Cinderella in this gorgeous gown. Um, it is a square and it is 70 by 88. So yeah, kind of big, but she's so gorgeous. So I'm going to be putting her downstairs in the living room on one side of the window. And then I have one coming up that is, yep, the next one. Very similar to this in size and um, in looks. So I thought it would go together really well on each side of the windows. So then we have Princess Izzy. And Princess Izzy is another square and 70 by 89. So off to the ball is 70 by 88. So yeah, just about the exact same size. Then for us cat lovers out there, we have crazy cat lady. Gonna be a lot of confetti in this one. <laughs> <laughs> this is a square and again 70 by 88. We have Alice Lost. This one is a square and it is 70 by 89. So you can see that's kind of a common size in the larger ones. Finally, for Hannah Lynn, we have Little Miss Delish. <laughs> this is a square, and it is a 70 by 88. Look at all the colors in here in this unicorn. Oh, she's just adorable. All right, finally, in the last part of my Diamond Art Club collection is going to be all of my Randall Spangler diamond paintings. So I'm going to get these all away and I'm going to go get all the Randall Spanglers. <laughs> One moment. All right. Last section of the video. This is actually going much faster than what I thought it was going to. At least for you guys. <laughs> I got all the work of. Well, yeah. Okay. <laughs> So this is jack-o'-lantern time and again these are all going to be by Randall Spangler. This is a round 41 by 41 so it is a little bit on the smaller side. So it would be a nice little bit of a quicker one to do for Halloween. Then we have customized bookshelf. This is a round 92 by 41. So it's narrow, but then it's tall. And he has a couple of big ones that are narrower. One is real tall. One's narrower this way, but real long, real wide. So we'll get to those. <laughs> Okay, on to the next size boxes, and this is most of them. This is a brand new one that just came out. It's called Wedding Memories. 
Uh, they just came out with three Randall Spanglers that are going to be customizable. So we have one, and I think I should be showing it. Yeah, everything got mixed up when I put it over here on the table. It'll be coming up um, for graduation, because um, we'll have graduations coming up. And also weddings are going to be coming up. So you can customize them with names and maybe dates in here. And then the brand new one that just came out this morning, and of course I had to order it, is where Dewey and Dagmar have a baby. So it's the two uh, grown-up dragons, Dewey and Dagmar, and they have a little baby dragon. It is just adorable. So I'll have to show that one on my channel when I get it. It's so cute. And again, it's customizable. So somebody that's having a baby. All right, here we have Devouring a Good Book. This is a round 56 by 56. So he's getting hungry. <laughs> we have Bubble Fairies. I'm going to have to keep it over here because my boxes are in the way over here. <laughs> this is a square and it is 69 by 56. I love this one. That might be when I do my next um, Randall Spangler. I'm not sure. They're all so cute. This one is Kitchen Helpers. This is a square 56 by 69. Whoa, almost had an avalanche. This one's a little bit different for him, and I was debating whether to get it or not, but it's like, I have all of his other ones. I've got to get this one, too. This one is called Sail Away. So you don't really see a lot of the dragons in here, the draglings. This is a big one. 119 by 56 centimeters, so it is extremely wide. So yeah, a little bit different for him. And here is rounding up the dust bunnies. The cute dust bunnies. <laughs> They're actually bunnies. All right, this is a square 56 by 71. There are a lot of his that are about that size. So not overly huge. Here's the other customizable one that came out just a little while ago. It is called Graduation. It is a square 51 by 76. So down here in this little emblem or whatever you want to call it, you could maybe put the person's name. I don't have anybody that these three personalized uh, diamond paintings would... Uh, I don't have any anybody to give them to, so I'm not sure what generic wording I could put in here. Congratulations is just too long of a word. <laughs> so I'll have to think on that one. Any suggestions? Let me know. <laughs> this is a newer one too. It's a limited edition. Some of these are limited editions. Uh, this one's called Robot Repair. This is a square 56 by 56. So I gotta fix that robot. Here is afternoon tea. This is a round and it is 56 by 69. This is Couch Dragon. It is a round and it is 89 by 46. I love this one too. This one came out not too long ago. It's called Bear Time Stories. Look at the dragons reading with the teddy bear. Love it. It is a round 56 by 56. So not too large either. Maybe this will be my next one. <laughs> We have Celestial Dreams. This is a square 56 by 89.
Whoa. Stay over there, boxes. Okay, we have a virus detected. Uh-oh. <laughs> this is a round, and it is 84 by 51. You see how he's wearing a mask? There's sanitizer here. Isn't that cute that he did that for right now? Uh, what's happening in our world? I thought that was so cute. Of course, I think they're all cute, right? Another relatively newer one is Evening Entanglement. So he's trying to floss his teeth, but he's having problems. This is a square 56 by 56. I know a number of people said they're going to do that and give it to their dentist. <laughs> this is the universe in a jar. It is a square 56 by 64. Flight of the Fireflies. This is a round 56 by 56. Here's another big one. It is Train of Dreams. And it goes this way. So it is landscape. It is 173 centimeters wide. So that is 68 inches. Yeah, it's, it's wide. And it is 46 centimeters or 18 inches tall. So again, this is one of those that isn't real tall, but very, very wide. But is just adorable. There's a lot going on in that painting that you don't really pick out until you actually start doing it. There's another whopper, but this one is narrow but very tall. So the opposite of Train of Dreams, this one is Firefly Fireworks. This is a round 51 by 170. So almost as big as the other one. <laughs> Those boxes are heavy. All right. Here we have, let's turn it. We have Zoom Zoom. <laughs> Isn't he cute? Uh, yep, I heard you. This is a round and it is 64 by 51. Lazy Day. I've seen this one done a number of times too and it's so cute. This is a square. It is 56 by 56. Here's another adorable one for technology. Technology meltdown. <laughs> Randall Spangler says, yeah, he has problems with technology. So that's why he did this one. It's blowing uh, his fire, melting the computer screen. This is a square 84 by 51. Randall Spangler is also a cat lover, so that's why you'll see a lot of cats um, here and there in his diamond paintings. Here we have a Halloween one. It is called Boo. It is a round diamond painting, 64 by 56. And here's the last great big one. It is reading tree and it is 104 by 51. It's not quite as big as those other ones that are 170 but it's still a real wide one. There are quite a few that come in much bigger boxes than that but here's another one that's on the larger size this is called so many books so little time isn't that the truth right so many diamond paintings so little time so many coloring books so little time or whatever craft you do 
Uh, this is a square. It is 56 by 109. Last in this size box is No More Dragon Breath. This is another good one for to give your dentist. <laughs> Isn't that cute? It is a round 56 by 56. So again, it's, it's a smaller one. All right, now on to the big boxes. Getting there, folks. We're getting there. This is one of the few that the, does not have his draglings in. This one is called Canine Christmas. I was trying to get my hands on this for a long, long time. It was out of stock forever, but it did come back. Um, he also has a cat one um, as a painting, and I sure hope they bring that in as a diamond painting too, because it's also in the Christmas tree format. So Canine Christmas, it is a square 70 by 95. So it is a big one. All different breeds of dogs in there. Running out of room behind me. All right. We have Cooking by Candlelight. It is a square 70 by 70. So it's in a big box, but it's not overly huge. Not sure why it's in this big of a box. Okay, we have the Literate Dragon. So, as you can see, Randall Spangler is a big reader, too, because you'll see a lot of books and stuff in his uh, paintings. This is a square 70 by 70. So, again, not overly huge, but a big box. We are almost done, folks. Four more to go. This one I fell in love with, but this one doesn't belong here either. It is not a Randall Spangler. <laughs> I'm screwing up. Cats near the window at night. So we have these gorgeous, this black grayish cat and then like this Bengal cat. Oh, love it. This is by, it says by Image World slash MHS whatever that means. It is a square and it is 95 by 70. So it is a big one. So again, I'm going to put that one off to the side to put with my miscellaneous ones. And then we have cookies and classics. So another one with books. This is a square and it is 94 by 70. I'm getting boxed in here behind me. We have Treasure Quest. This is a eh, newer one from Diamond Art Club. It is a square 70 by 81. So we have our draglings being pirates fighting with their swords. If you can't pick that up on the camera. And finally, last but certainly not least, curl up with a good book. This is a square 70 by 70. And that's it, folks. <laughs> so I'll just bring these couple back in for now. So yeah, that is my entire diamond painting collection. I do have a few from some other companies, uh, but I, I wasn't going to include them in this video. I don't have that many from, um, you know, like Craftably and, you know, some of the others, um, just a few. Vast majority of them are Diamond Art Club and my budget-friendly um, diamond paintings. So again, if you would like to see an unboxing of any of these diamond paintings, feel free to let me know down in the comments below, and I'd be happy to do that for you. Did you have a favorite out of all of these? Um, let me know that down in the comments below. Yeah, this definitely didn't take as long to record as I thought it was going to. It's just, yeah, getting everything out and putting everything away. Now everything's just stacked over by my door and I'll have to reorganize everything, get it back over 
in the corner of the room. So I'll be doing that later tonight. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing my Diamond Art Club collection. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. And as always, happy coloring and happy diamond painting. Bye, guys. Thank mm -hmm. you.